This is Louisa Cameron and her fantastic display model for 8th Church Street. This is a model. It can be as creative as she wants it to be. And now let me tell you something. It's creative. Take it away, Louisa. Okay. Here's your point. This is my point. We have a problem here with reworking the terrace. These, the, first of all, there's a view here that is one that we would like to hide. Therefore, we're planting California privet here. It grows large, it's variegated, it's inexpensive, it's disease-free, it can be clipped into shape. So, we're making a bed here and we're going to amend the soil and put in California privet. At this end, we're going to paint the dirty yellow garage and the wall here a dark brick color. I'm not, yes. sure, I'm not sure about the, the garage, but definitely the wall. We're going to put a thick, good, sasanqua hedge here because most people, most tourists come to Charleston in the fall, early winter, and spring, and we need color here in the spring. We can plant rows of annuals in the front. I'm not worried about that now, but we've got to get the back, the real back of the shrubs in. We're going, you have to have a table if you have company. So we're going to have a table and four chairs. This is the joggling board with the person sitting on it. And this is a person standing here next to the serving table where they're going to have the wine and the snacks. And then these are two pots. In the in the late in the early, late spring it can be geraniums. It can in the summer it can be beautiful wing angel wing begonias, something like that. But great big pots. On this side, this is a fountain. This represents a large space. It can be painted trompe l'oeil. It can have a smaller fountain within, but this is water here. And this, the pink, the pink here represents bricks. And this is a high brick basin you can sit on. Um, again, they're budget constraints, so we're not going to do a lot of stone work. But this is a brick base that people can sit on and dabble their hands in the water. And here are topiaries. There's a hint of formality to the courtyard. This just represents the garage shape. We've got to get this, get this area clean. We're going to move the steps or change them somehow. This entire area needs to be cleaned out. Now, I have a plan to put lattice all along here, high lattice storage in front of the parking area, move all the trees against the house, paint the lattice the same color as the house, and use it as storage area. We have at least three gates in it, and then there'll be parking at a slant in front of it. I have the other plan down there. But all this junky stuff, all this uh, debris, refuse, uh, garden implements, things, they all need to go into storage. They need to be hidden from view because this is a public, semi-public space. There can be big pots in here full of shade-loving plants. Um, the awning's got to go. The tin awning needs to go. And this whole area of porch needs to be cleaned up. These are gardenias. This is a southern exposure. This is the, the northern edge, but it's a southern exposure, roughly. And the driveway comes, the driveway in, comes right in here. We're taking up this using the old bricks elsewhere. We're taking up, we're putting an oval of lawn here, and we're putting azaleas all in here. They're quick, they're easy, they're fast growing, they're colorful. And then we're putting more pedalum in the corner. We're going to allow them to be a tree shape. Here we're going to put gardenias. Again, this is all due to budget constraints. It may not be gardenias, but they do bloom and, and they are fragrant. It could be another shrub that is fragrant, reliable, or Viburnum, that's it. That's it. Viburnums could work in here as well. Anyway, that's my plan. This is to be, again, these are the existing paving stones. This area is to be kept immaculate. A box, boxwoods need to be put along the edge of the terrace to remind someone not to step off of the terrace. And that's the best I can do. And I wow. had fun doing it. And you had fun doing it here at the uh, show. Sure that was one heck of a good show. Wow. Well, thank so. you. Guess who <laughs> taught me? Uh, our good team. Thank you so much, Louisa Cameron, for your contribution to Landscape Your Life that totally transformed 8th Church Street in Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this. This is the fountain back here. This is the facade of the garage, which you don't see because we don't have a picture of it. This is the driveway coming in. This is the wonderful Sasanqua head. She's beautifully made it blooming. That's the scale of a person. There's the table. Won that a wow. And she did it in less than an hour. Thank you.